We just came out of a meeting, you are uh, meeting the part of the delegation, meeting with um, investors. So far, what you, you're new to this position and the reform that is going on and what you're hearing from investors and the meeting that you've had here uh, at the IMF and the World Bank. Can you give us an update on that? Yes, um, we came here to tell the world about the bold reforms that have been uh, happening in Nigeria since the inception of the new administration. These were reforms that needed uh, courage to contemplate, but President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has carried them uh, out and um, we shared the positive outcomes of uh, that. Uh, subsidies uh, uh, on uh, imports, you know, foreign exchange, uh, fuel have been eliminated and uh, this has uh, created uh, a windfall revenue for the tiers of uh, government. And um, remember that we inherited a huge debt stock. So that is why the benefits might not uh, immediately occur on a scale that is envisaged uh, to touch uh, everyone everywhere. But you could see how the debt service has come down from almost 100% of our revenue to about 60% and indications are that it is further going, going, down. going down exactly. Okay. So, uh, I know you have to go and... Um, but let, let me say one thing. Um, the expectation that uh, federal government spending fuel inflation is not correct. Federal government accounts for no more than 30% of the total public expenditure. The 70% is accounted for by the states. You can see that all the fiscal restraints are basically applied at the federal level. So it's high time Nigerians uh, you know, uh, persuaded the subnational state and local government to accept the strength on spending to no, do no, no. all they can to extract more value out of whatever spending they are able to do at these two levels. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, welcome.